Welcome to the third lecture. In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the index.html file. We'll be using the Visual Studio Code HTML5 template to start, and we'll import the libraries aframe and ar.js as discussed in lecture two. But we'll also import our own script, the app.js file. Then we'll set up the scene and the marker elements. Now, this is the HTML5 template of Visual Studio Code. And you simply create it by typing in HTML, then select the HTML5 option, and then this template shows up. You, of course, can decide whatever title you give it, but I gave it this nice title. Okay, so that's the starting position. And then in the header, we are going to import the libraries. We already discussed this in lecture two. So on top, you see the A-Frame library, then the AR.js A-Frame library. And after that, we will import our app.js file. So that's another script tag. And inside the opening tag, you will see the path to this file. We also need to set the type to module because we are going to create JavaScript in modules. This specifically makes sense when we want to retrieve the data from our database. Further on, we also need to set the attribute async to false. And that's it, that's our header. Now in the body. So the body is where the scene will be located and for the body we apply some inline styling. Actually, we don't want to see the browser. So we set the margin to zero. And now it is as if we are looking through the camera instead of looking at the browser and then through the camera. Also, we set the overflow hidden. Now inside the body is the scene. The scene is defined by a start and end tag, a dash scene. Inside the start tag, we include the property embedded ARJS. Now A-Frame knows that we are using ARJS. Inside the scene, we instantiate our camera. Not with a special tag, so a A-camera tag, but in a general manner. So as an entity component of name camera. Inside the scene, we want to make sure that all assets are loaded before the scene is actually created. We do so with a preloader that's called A-assets. And everything that's inside these tags is preloaded. Now, the only thing we need are the four icons we are going to use. And we load them with an image tag. In the image tag, there's an ID, which we can refer to, and of course, a path to the images. Last, we add the marker element. Also an opening and ending tag. And in the opening tag, we need to set some of the attributes. First of all, the ID, it's set to marker. So in JavaScript, we can get this element by its ID. Also, we need to set the attribute preset to custom and type to pattern, because we are going to use a pattern to recognize the marker. Then we need to provide a path to the trained pattern. Last, we want our marker to emit events, for example, when it recognizes the marker. So we need to set the attribute emit events to true. Inside the begin and the end tag of the marker is everything we want to show when the marker is recognized. So this is actually where our AR experience is set. 